Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will try to learn about Spark Structure Streaming. So let's start the video. So what is Spark Structure Streaming? Spark Structure Streaming is a scalable and fault tolerant stream processing engine built on top of Spark SQL Engine. Spark has made it easy for the end user to express their streaming computation the same way they would express a batch computation on the static data. The Spark SQL engine will take care of running it incrementally and continuously and updating the final result as streaming data continues to arrive. Spark structure streaming can connect to multiple data sources like file, Kafka, Socket and many others. Spark Structure Streaming ensures end-to-end -end exactly once fault tolerance guarantees through checkpoint and write-ahead logs. Now let's see Spark Structure Streaming with a programming model. Everyone knows what the table is in batch processing. Spark Structure Streaming extends this concept to streaming application by treating a stream as an unbounded, continuously appending table. So, whenever a new record arrives, it is added as a new row to the unbounded table. So, once the data has arrived to our unbounded table, developers can define a query on this conceptual input table as if it was a static table. Spark Structure Streaming will then automatically convert this batch-like query to a streaming execution plan. Finally, developers specify trigger policies to control when to update the result. Each time a trigger happens, Structure Streaming checks for new data that is new row in the input table and incrementally updates the result table. Each time a result table is updated, you can write the updates to some external systems like HDFS, S3 and console. Let's understand this with a simple example of word count and then we will do some code in the next video. So whenever a record comes, it is considered as an input DF and the word count will be the result table that is the output DF. And to generate the word count, it will be the same as what we used to do in the batch processing. So, in this scenario, the first input is cat, dog, dog and dog. Now, our code will break this into words and will perform count on it. And we will get the result with cat as 1 and dog as 3. Now, if there is other input like owl and cat, in this the new input will be added to the unbounded input table and word count will be performed. So the count on the input table which will have the old record as well. Now the result table will have cat as 2, dog as 3 and owl as 1 and the result will be printed on the console. Now, if there is other input like dog and owl, then the new input will be added to the unbounded input table and the word count will be performed. And now the result table will have cat as 2, dog as 4 and owl as 2. And the result will be updated in the console. And this is how the Spark Streaming keeps on running. In Spark Structure Streaming, there are a lot of concepts to cover like events, trigger, window operation, watermarking, checkpoint, write ahead log, output modes and many others. For the time being, I hope you are aware what is Spark Structure Streaming and how it works on a higher level. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such video. Thank you.